the Newstalk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, nurses are calling for more appropriate nurse-to-patient ratios to keep people safe. A review of Tafatu Ora's Care Capacity Demand Management System in 2022 found 83% of shifts are understaffed. Anecdotal evidence from some union members say it's now more like 97%. Nurses' organisation CEO Ann Daniels says the system needs to be reviewed and made fit for purpose. Our inability to retain nurses in this country is a huge issue because we're not be able to provide a good care, safe care, timely care without them. The gaming industry is levelling up. New Zealand video game studios earn $435 million in the year to the end of March 2023. Eight applications have also been successfully progressed through the new game development sector rebate. Game Developers Association Chair Carl Leduc says the sector is growing in many directions. There's massive opportunities and markets emerging from you know, cosy games, mobile games, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, and these are all opportunities that you know, studios in New Zealand are trying to capitalise on. Fire and emergency have responded to a cabin fire in the small south Waikato town of Pataruru. It happened about 11 last night, with crews arriving to see the cabin entirely engulfed in flames. Four vehicles in total responded, including a water tanker. Festival goers in Gisborne are being urged to take care driving this year. Nearly 25,000 people are heading to the sold-out 21st Rhythm and Vines Festival. Gisborne Mayor Rehat Stoltz says the roading infrastructure is a bit fragile following the severe weather events earlier in the year. We ask people to be patient on the road, to drive safely and come and enjoy everything we have on offer here in Gisborne. That's news. In sport, South Africa have maintained their historic record of never losing a Test Series to India at home. The Proteas have walloped India by an innings and 32 runs in the first Test at Centurion and can't be beaten in the two-Test Series. Opener Dean Algar, who's retiring after the Series, scored a magnificent 185 to be player of the match and he had an air-to-air smile when telling Sky Sport he was chuffed with his innings. If I don't laugh now, I'm going to cry. So I'd rather just smile and enjoy the moment. Contributing, adding big scores to this team is something that I've always wanted to do. This one worked out for us, got us in a really good position, allowed our bowlers to get 20 wickets. Massive effort. A fighting 96 from all-rounder Mitch Marsh has given Australia the upper hand after three days of the Boxing Day test against Pakistan at the MCG. Australia leads by 241 with four second innings wickets in hand. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.